All right, so let's talk about a compound inequality where we have two different inequalities to solve. So I've got the inequality x minus 2 is less than or equal to 4, and x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 6. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So now if I graph these both, I'm going to graph them both on the same number line, one above and one below. So I've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 6, x is less than or equal to 6. That would be a bracket going this way. This says x is greater than or equal to 5, so it would be a bracket going this way. and means intersection. What do they both have in common? So it's going from here to here that they both have in common, and they both have the brackets. So your answer would actually be, where does it start and where does it end? That's where the two intersect. So that's all you have. So let's look at a union. A union is when you have both sets together. So let's say that I had x is less than or equal to 5 or x is less than or equal to 11. So I'm going to graph these both on a number line. And x is less than or equal to 5 would be a bracket going here. And x is less than or equal to 11 would be a bracket here going this way. Now remember, or means all together. So I need to graph all of this one and all of this one together, which means where does my farthest one start here? And where do they end? Infinity. What type of infinity? Negative infinity. So this would be parentheses, negative infinity, comma, 11, bracket. Because that's where they both intersect. Not intersect. They both join together. All right, let's try one of those with a step, multi-step equation. Inequality. So I'm going to subtract 3 here. x is greater than 2. I'm going to subtract 2 here. Negative x is greater than 5. I have to divide by negative 1 because I don't want a negative and I flip my inequality, so x is less than negative 5. So now when I graph these on a number line, make my number line a little bit bigger. x is greater than 2 would look like this here, and x is less than negative 5 would be a bracket, no, parentheses, sorry, going this way. So now, to combine these, I'm going from negative infinity to negative 5, and then I'm going from 2 to positive infinity. Now, these are both parentheses. These are both parentheses. So I have both of these in the same thing. I have negative infinity to negative 5. And then I also have 2 to positive infinity. And then I need to use my symbol, which is a u. So that's 
what a union of two equations that don't have anything in common look like. Let's try another one of those. So I have 4x minus 5 is greater than negative 29, or 3x plus 6 is less than or equal to 24. So let's add 5. 4x is greater than negative 24. Divide by 4, x is greater than negative 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. 3x is 18. Divide both sides by 3. x is less than or equal to 6. So let me show you what this looks like on a graph. So I've got negative 6. 0, positive 6. Negative 6 is a parenthesis going all this way, and this is a bracket going all this way. So now when I talk about the union, that means all of this and all of this. So where is this headed to this direction? Negative infinity. And then where is this side going to? Positive infinity. So I have from negative infinity to positive infinity for my solution. That's how they all do. It's always going on this problem, it's going to go from negative to positive infinity. All right, one last thing, just because it looks weird. This is asking it to be written as a single interval. So what you want to do is you want to graph each one. So I'm going to have 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So this would be a bracket on 10 going this way, and this would be a bracket on 13, uh, pr sorry, parentheses, going this way. So what would a single answer be for both of these? Well, where's the farthest it's going? Negative infinity. Where is the farthest it's stopping? The 13. So of them together, it would be negative infinity, comma, 13 parentheses. And that's what 8.2 is all about.